If you didn't catch the previous two videos in this three-part series, I'm trying to use the excess heat from an active compost pile to directly heat my small greenhouse. In the first video, I showed how I constructed an insulated compost chamber next to the greenhouse. In the second video, I show the composition of the compost pile. Check the description for links to those videos. In this video, I'll show you how the system performs in real world conditions. I built a heat exchanger to transfer heat from the compost pit to the greenhouse. I took temperature readings on a cold morning at four locations inside and outside the greenhouse. I think it convincingly shows that the system works. An open question is whether the system is the ultimate solution to all my greenhouse heating needs. Uh, until we get some very cold temperatures, I won't know for sure. That being said, I've been easily keeping eight tomato plants alive and to some extent uh, producing new fruit well into November, even though most nights here in Colorado are uh, below freezing. So I expect that I'll make some engineering modifications to the system and we'll collect more data, but uh, don't hold your breath for part four. It probably won't come until 2018. I've collected roughly two weeks of data in the insulated compost pile, which is enough to see a full heat up, cool down cycle. When the temperature of the pile drops below 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, I like to turn the pile, though you could let it go longer. On day seven, I had to dig around the pile to install a heat exchanger. Uh, this caused the temperature of the pile to drop from 130 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, where it stabilized. Uh, if I would have left the pile alone, the temperature of the pile probably would have dropped smoothly, as illustrated by the dotted line here. So as a rule, I find that these relatively small leaf-based compost piles hit a maximum temperature of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius, and decline to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius over about a three week period at which they need to be turned. And then uh, uh, I add coffee to the compost, but uh, you, need, you need more fuel to keep it going. On day 13, I did a full turn of the compost uh, using a pitchfork. So when I mean turn, I actually lay a tarp next to the unit and I literally dig out the entire contents of the pile onto the tarp. Um, this is a fairly small pile, so it only took about 10 minutes. So then I added 10 pounds of dry coffee and about four gallons of water. And amazingly, by the next day, uh, that pile was back to its maximum, maximum temperature of about 140 degrees. So uh, once, once the, the bacteria are active, uh, even, even if it gets a little bit cool, you can heat it up very quickly, um, in my case, with, with coffee. So here's a diagram of my compost chamber and greenhouse. This should be familiar from, from part one in the series. Um, so I built a metal pipe by taping tin cans together. It's not the most beautiful solution in the world to make a pipe, but um, it, it works and it was free. So I laid this in the compost chamber in the orientation you see here. So the bottom of it is actually um, not touching the bottom. I actually keep it off the actual bottom of the compost pit, but it's sort of angling back to the uh, greenhouse. So like a chimney, uh, warm air from the center of the pile is gonna tend to uh, convect upward through the top of the chimney. So I extend that chimney into the greenhouse using a flexible black uh, drainage pipe um, that, I, that I just had lying around from, from a previous project. So in this way, by actually connecting that pipe into the greenhouse, the warm air would convect uh, into the greenhouse from the compost pile. So to improve the airflow through the system, I added a 12 watt inline duct fan and then added a length of metal pipe in the greenhouse. So the metal pipe will actually act as a radiator um, in, in addition to the air that comes out the end of the pipe to distribute heat flow throughout the greenhouse. As an interesting aside, um, by actually circulating air through the compost pile forcibly using a fan, um, I, I, in theory at least, um, the pile should be better aerated and could get even hotter than it would otherwise. Here's an actual view of the system that I've installed. So we've got the, the compost chamber is full of, uh, full of uh, leaves. And then the chimney, which is the metal, the metal part of it, is hidden in the, in the compost. So warm air is being pulled up from the hot core of the compost pile, going into the drainage pipe, and then going into the greenhouse, which is shown here. 
uh, you can see now we've got the duct fan in line and then the, um, the metal pipe um, which carries the hot air into the greenhouse. So, you know, like a radiator, it, um, you get some radiation off of the, off the metal pipe, but most of the, most of the heating is actually coming out the end of it. I could have built a closed loop system by having a big loop of metal pipe in the greenhouse, and then uh, um, it would have been just circulating air inside the compost pile. Um, it would reduce some of the smell. I get a little bit of little bit of smell. I mean, the the compost doesn't smell that bad. It's it's not. Uh, it doesn't use food. It's just using leaves and coffee. But there's a little bit of ammonia. And uh, but uh, anyway, for the future, possibly. So I measured the temperature at four locations. Uh, number one, at the compost outflow pipe. Number two, inside my covered patio. Number three on the edge of the greenhouse and number four outside. So this slide shows um, kind of a map view shows the compost chamber next to the greenhouse and it shows the relative orientation of the three um, of the four thermometers. So the system kicked on automatically at 7 a.m. on a cool November morning. So the outside temperature was about uh, 28 degrees Fahrenheit at the time. That's about minus uh, two, minus three degrees Celsius. So the compost outflow temperature, that's, that's the thermometer that's literally stuck in the, in, in the, metal, in the end of the metal pipe. Um, that's heating up very rapidly within 15 minutes. It goes from essentially the, the, the temperature of the, of the uh, greenhouse, which is about 37 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty amazing. Um, 68 degrees Fahrenheit is actually 40 degrees Fahrenheit above the outside temperature. So um, no, this isn't, this isn't as hot as say a space heater, but this, there's a huge uh, temperature differential between the air coming out of the um, compost exhaust and the outside temperature. So let's, uh, let's zoom in to kind of see what, how the temperature in the uh, greenhouse changes. So the temperature in the greenhouse uh, heats up steadily for the first 30 minutes after the unit kicks on. Uh, even though the outside temperature and patio temperature didn't change. Um, so I turned on a small fan at that point to mix the air in the greenhouse, and that further improved the rate of heating. So after an hour, the greenhouse temperature increased uh, 3 degrees Fahrenheit with, with very little change in uh, the temperature outside the, outside the greenhouse. Um, I need to log the temperature over a longer period of time to really understand the ultimate heating potential of this system. So you can see how the greenhouse kept getting warmer, but the problem here was um, the sun started to come up, so uh, we, the, the greenhouse was being heated by outside influences. So I want to take those outside influences out. So we'll wait for a very cold day to do that.